Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 17 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out with Soren and XCOMP and TTF Cuts and Fireballs here and... Is, is Purple Mented still here? Or did he leave? Oh, he left. left. Morvi's still here? I think she's presently prepping. Presently AFK or possibly prepping. So, uh, Soren, I installed Hopperhawks underneath and Ooh. I did it in a somewhat, like... You know, nice pattern. Look at that. If you look on all four sides, it's like, like, good. And it's stuff. symmetrical. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm impressed. Thanks. I decided to go with Ender Chest <laughs> so that we can Ender Chest our loot back to our base. Wouldn't it be better to actually link it to our colors? I don't know. What's our colors? I thought our colors were yellow, yellow. They're always yellow, yellow. No, it's green, green. Green, green. Always. You look back to your. We're episodes. always yellow, yellow. <laughs> what? Come up to this chest up here. All right, well, you fix it then, Mr. I know what our <laughs> colors are. We do green because the cactus are easy to get. Sometimes. Sometimes. Depends, well, depends yes, how easily you can find a, uh, a, a biome that has cactus. Uh, I'll just ask XCOM in a second because he's been roaming around for life. Mm, yeah. Um, <laughs> I might be able to find some places. Well, you, you know. The green mystical flowers. The workshop is also an option because it's a desert, but... It's a desert, but I haven't seen... Well, actually, there are there cactus there? I wonder if there's a house around. Yeah, there are. Okay. I'm activating the ritual and all the things. So, I've done a little bit of testing of this, and the Hopper Hawks, I believe, are picking up all items. They should be. They have a radius of six, so I think we're all right. I didn't actually count to see that things were working, but I want them to turn on so that I can actually watch items flow properly um and then i want a trash can to though i could technically there's in fact a house around here give these guys void upgrades but they're more expensive i believe void upgrades yeah they're more expensive than a trash can so i think somebody recently posted like why not use void upgrades in your barrels instead of trash cans and it's well one trash can versus i'd need eight different void upgrades so that would be no fun so let's see mm. let's see what happens um I do want this to route in a somewhat intelligible way, so we'll do something like this. Um, and... Wow, spider is handy for climbing hills. It is, yeah. but bats are better. Well, yes, but since I lack bat presently, spider will do. You know what? I'm going to help you out. One more present. After I find a cactus. Oh, I'll do the next. Present for you, upcoming. You just want some uh, an angel ring? Uh, That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, come back here. I fought like two withers at once because it's bored with this armor. <laughs> oh, how do I get over here? Yeah, that's what I want it to be. <laughs> How's that look? Not too shabby. Oh, cool. The spider. Yeah, that should that should work. I didn't actually count like how many different mob drop types we're gonna get, but instead of actually having that trash can there, I should have a chest first. I suspect that will be a smarter move. I will eventually make this a trash can, but for now, I'm gonna make it a chest so that if we're getting more than eight items, I'll know it and can uh, adjust my plan accordingly. That looks cool to me. Did you turn off the thing? Back in the water. Oh no. So we're not fully, as you guys can see, expanded upon yet. But uh, we should have a good amount of stuff. The nice thing about this ritual I discovered is it really only uses LP when it's doing damage. Like, just being on, it doesn't use LP, which is pretty nice. So I'm getting a decent amount of this stuff at the moment. So are we ready to build a quarry, Soren? Yes. Where should we build it? Probably in the deep dark. Is that where you want to do it? Yeah, we we'll get more resources, a lot more dense ores. Okay. Um, so if we're going to do that in the deep dark, my next question then would be, like, we want to make sure we find some place that's kind of far away from anybody. So we should make a couple linking books and like go run a decent distance in the deep dark. Yeah. Um, that should be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be doable. 
I can find the location. Almost back to my. I want to get the books. Place I died. All right, I'll go so get this the next count first. All right, we'll get um, a location in the deep dark, and I will then have to figure out which rituals that we want to build. So I think we want to build the ritual of uh, magnetism, right? That's the one that pulls stuff out of the ground, and then right interacting with that, we're going to want ritual of the crusher um, that will break blocks and put them in a chest. So that'll be an ender chest that'll link to our sorting system, is basically the plan. Okay, cool. XCOM, where are you? Uh, 300, 568. Okay, um, 300, 568. Why are you, like, a thousand blocks away from where you were a second ago? What? How do we have another Star Soren? How many withers have you killed? I killed four. I killed two at once at one point. <laughs> With your super crazy <laughs> armor that you have? <laughs> I looked at it and was like, huh, this sword did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Very nice. Oh, cool, we're getting creeper seeds. Hooray. So things are flowing and working. So the item routing thing is working. That's good. Um, I'm liking this. XCOM. Did you fix uh, our colors, by the way? Not yet. You did on one of them. I know I'm I kind of messed up on them, but yeah, it's close. Not the right blue, I don't think. What? Is it light blue or dark blue on that one that I Oh, played? you made it green, green, light blue somehow. Yeah, I used blue flower, but apparently it was light blue flower that I got. Okay. Way <laughs> uh, to go, Sorry. So, so let's see. How many ritual stones will I need for this? So for Extra ritual of again. magnetism... Uh, 300, 569, and I'm trying to get my stuff organized oh, away. That's going to be 16. How can you be so mean? Not you, it's a zombie. Plus. Cut, 16. stop flying so fast. All right, so 32. That's not terrible. You stop being so slow. I'm shooting you, so careful with that. Okay, that was close. So I feel like I don't have enough slates. So I'm gonna have to go and zombies get more. Zombies creepier those. looking than early should be. Um, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I can probably pull this off. Kind of wouldn't mind. Hey. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me go upgrade some of right. these blank slates into the stuff Oops. that I need. And then we'll be back. Cut some to sort stuff. I have a lot of stuff. You have, have a, lot, a lot of fun. All right, guys, we are back. Soren, what are you doing? Uh, well, if you turn around, you'll see a guy with a pickaxe who's rather dangerous. To you, not me. Line of fire and all. I don't know who to be terrified of. <laughs> It like <laughs> my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> He's surrounded by Isaura. I don't even have to look to know stuff. exactly what Dyer's worst nightmare is. There's more than one. one. Confused armor. Yeah. It's, 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 it's very stairs. close to my worst nightmare is where Dyer. Like, <laughs> there's more than one. How handle? How do you... So when I borrowed our ender tank of lava because I need more obsidian for what I'm making right now. Just so you know. Yep. Um, so let's see. One obsidian per... <laughs> so, how much damage does this do? And is PvP on? <laughs> yeah. <Probably. laughs> now you know how I feel. Is PvP on? It is, it is. Leave. <laughs> That's alright. I'll have uber armor soon, too. What was that? About creeper seed, probably, yeah. Most likely Five creeper seed, yes. Lily, so I finished my field. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, though, cuts did give me a funny work here. Oh? <laughs> Dad Golem is sad. <laughs> Dad Golem. I want to see the sad Golem. Where are you? Just went upstairs. Oh, nice. Red gold. I don't animate because I don't have a core, so the hat's completely separate from my head. That's awesome. 
Let me see. Hat. All right, I think, Mr. Soren, that I'm ready, except I'm going to need... Hang on a second. I may not need it, because you might be doing something silly. What do you need? You are. I need a green, green, green ender chest, and you have one sitting here doing nothing. Yeah, it was just every room you walk over, put it in. But yeah, take it. I have an ender pouch now. Okay, so I believe I'm ready to make the rituals that I need to do. Um, and I'm also bringing along every diamond we have. So we have two diamonds left now. What? I made 12 okay. blocks of diamonds. I guess we are going for a quarry anyways. What's that? <laughs> we are going for a quarry anyways. So I guess the yeah. Um, yes. So there's one more thing I want to do while I'm here. Hopefully somebody named Soren left some redstone laying around. There's no, Soren chests just... everywhere, I want you to know that. Yes. <clears throat> yes. There's yeah. fancy pants for all in this one, but... Yeah? If anyone needs them. They're all damaged in different degrees. Um, so I want to... There's a couple things that I know I'm going to need, so I'm going to grab them real quick. That's where my saw went. Oh! Oops. Got one. <laughs> There's my blood orb. In buckets. Huh. Oh, this I is when I was made a ton with of deep dark with you cuts. <laughs> That's right. I don't know what's what? in any of these chests. Because I want to be safe. I put all the items in my inventory in these two chests in the workshop. Since I kept getting obliterated. You. Cool. There are many Soren chests everywhere I look. There are. But now Z dark is nothing to me. What? I can walk in deep dark without getting killed. Okay. Because he's OP. Super annoying, huh? Yeah, the last time I had no armor. So are you currently finding a place via link book that will get us some nice stuff? I'm just laughing about my XCOM chest. Uh, I don't have a book with me, no. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Since you can survive in the deep dark and I can't, probably. <laughs> yeah. Because I organize. Ironically, my beacon home is called Help in the deep dark, so... Uh, I'll be back in the workshop in a second. Okay. I'm why is probably going to need so more pretty? red pipe wire. What? what? Someone in my chat just said, why are you so pretty? I don't understand. What's not to understand? Because he's related to us. As in our family. What? You know what Joseph's response would be to, uh, oh! why are you so pretty? Oh! Yeah, his responses and yours are never really the same. I forgot that they changed it so that you only get one die from flowers anymore. Yeah. That's not I cool. wasn't trying to make Joseph's response. I was just saying, you know what it would be. <laughs> All right, so All right. do you have books or do you need to make them? Uh, you need to make them. Okay. So, guys, Soren's going to go find a place in the deep dark to call... Dyer and Soren's mining area, and then we're going to set up this ritual, and I'll show you guys what's new and exciting in Blood Magic's ritual stuff. Alright guys, after much having fun, mostly Soren taking forever to make linking books and find his way to somewhere, um, where are we? We're in a hole. Okay. Because this... there's monsters outside, and you'll die. Okay. Like nasty monsters, terrible, evil creatures that we don't want to mess with? Pretty much. So yes. that direction's away from entry, so that's probably a good place to do it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, here's the basic plan. You ready, Soren? Mm-hmm. Uh, magnet. I'm thinking... So you can now upgrade your rituals. Right now, and it's only a temporary solution, it's a block of diamond for the most powerful version of the ritual. It's not all rituals that can be updated, it's just some of them. Um, but the ritual of magnetism is one, and if you use a diamond block, so remember in Forgecraft 2 when we were playing with this ritual, like it really didn't last long because it did a very small radius. Right. So now it'll do a 64 by 64. Oh. Nice, right? 
Yeah. So, Ritual of Magnetism. Let's get this thing up and running. Oh. <laughs> Look out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like, thanks for the warning. <laughs> Dodge brick. Alright, so that <laughs> should be Ritual of the Magnetism. So stand back, I'm going to activate it. Alright. Aha! Look, it's working. And then to harvest this, we'll have... What do you think? That will be the Ritual of the Crusher, which I'm about to install here in just a minute. I just want to wait for it to finish. So what this does is it pulls up a 3x3 area. So like, it, it mines in a 64x64 area of blocks, but it'll pull up 3x3 three three and then stop. Nobody knows. Cool. <laughs> is that Morvi I hear? Yes. yes. There she is. <laughs> Welcome hey, back. Sorry, I I oh, had she. boring real Those... life things to do. Ah. Those... All right, so, so next, uh, we can put down the ritual of the crusher, which looks like <laughs> this doohickey right here. Yes, yeah, someone in my chat points out something very specific and very accurate. You stab me with a sword. Careful! <laughs> That's a century, your careful warning to me. Did you break something? Why am I missing one ritual stone? Or did it already place? What? Um. Um. I have no idea what you're talking about. Might be. Need any more room? Let's see. Ah! That was not right. I anticipate using this furnace. Okay, I broke one of the rings by accident. Let's see. What'd you break? One of the rings by accident on the side. <gasps> cobble. <gasps> Soren's breaking things again. Look at that. <laughs> I, I can't say I'm surprised. You try my Soren. No one in the Can I'm play so dust big. runes. We're only mean because you deserve it. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I'm not sure why this isn't working. Well, that and you make it easy. Okay, I can accept that one. Oh, I see. <laughs> <Does> you <laughs> want me to make it harder? Well, it's up to you, really. There we go. <laughs> I hear the hesitation, too. It's like... Uh, I miss it. Okay, so that's that guy, right, Soren? So what this does is it will break any blocks in a 3x3 three three under the Ritual Stone and put them in the chest on top of it. Like that. Okay, and then as for the Ritual Stone down here to fix? Yeah, I'll fix it. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Got to get back to Ritual of... Magnetism. There we go, all fixed. Cool. Okay. So energy, so here, now what's cool about this, Soren, is you ready for this part? Yeah, you can upgrade nice. this, and for um, every four blocks of diamond you put around here, you get one um, fortune effect. Man, I'm glad I went diamond mining earlier. <laughs> so with a full set of the diamonds or emeralds, it can be diamonds or emeralds, intermix, whatever you want, so for this, because we've got 12, you'll get fortune three. Interesting. Right? I like it. So activate. Oh, you know what? We have to go back to our base. And turn that back on, yeah. Um, go back and turn that on. And what I'm gonna do is actually implement something. The only downside to this is that it won't automatically turn off when it um, is full. So I need to build a little bit of intelligence, and that's why I grabbed some gates. Um, unfortunately, it's not build easy. Yeah, it's not easy to access stuff. 
So, and especially now that I've built this here, it's going to be even tougher. I guess I could do... There you go. Is it clearing out now? Yep. Okay, cool. You know what, I'm not going to do it in this direction, because that's the direction of our link book. As a side note, is there anyone around that uh, um, has a decent supply of um, sakura wood and uh, great wood? Uh, not I, unfortunately. Custom well, gets great wood, but... there's a great wood tree near me. Okay. Because I might need it for pretties. For pretties. Do you have a book to your house yet, XCOM? No, I've barely built anything in the house. Oh, oh you found a place to live? So do me a favor, Soren, real quick. Mm -hmm. Turn off the thing that's pulling stuff out of our, um... Just yes, I found a place to live. At least, I think I am. And let me know when it's off. So this should inventory full emit red pipe signal. And then down here, um, red pipe signal becomes a redstone signal, which will disable the magnetism ritual. There's no easy way to access the crusher ritual because all six sides are covered with blocks in this design. So we're kind of stuck. So we'll just have to kind of let it be as is. So when I fill up the chest, what will eventually happen is it will activate the red pipe signal, and you'll note that the magnetism ritual stops running. So the crusher ritual continues to run, so the last nine blocks might get harvested and might also, as a result, drop on the ground like that. So, But that's kind of the best thing you can do because there's no way to... And indirect redstone doesn't work either, unfortunately. So... Um. Do you see what I'm talking about, Soren? Or do you not? Yeah, yet? I was going to see if there's a. It would have been nice. Base and inventory. Was there any kind of specification for that? It contains 50%, 75%. You could probably do contain 75% and just leave it as nothing. No, I think it just needs to be inventory full. I mean, it's what you're going to lose is nine blocks worth of stuff, which I'm honestly not going to get too upset about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now it's disabled because the chest is full. And if you can please, Soren, turn that back on. <laughs> it's running again. I first was like, wow, it pulled out a lot. Oh, it was just sort of, okay. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? Um, nice. In the next version of Blood Magic, which he said might be coming like in a couple days from the time we're recording this, he's going to have a different way to augment these rituals. So instead of just putting a diamond block there, it's going to be some different way to augment it um, and you'll be able to augment not only uh, the range but also things like the speed so you'll be able to get this to run up to four times faster with the right augmentation on it nice. which sounds pretty cool to me and I need one of those ender pack things that are backpacks but I just... eventually yeah oh you know what darn it I just dumped all my ender pearls in there Give me a sec. No, I'm just coming back. Yeah, okay. It's easy enough. Ah, uh, because I want to... I don't know if this is going to chunk load by default. Actually, I can just go check and see. I don't know if it chunk loads or not. I chunk loaded our, um, our mob spawner, by the way. Okay, cool. So do me a favor. Head into that linking book for me. The digger? Or the yeah. quarry? Yeah, go hang out by our quarry. So I don't see anything going through right now. Tell me when you link in. Did you just go through? I just went through, but it'll give me a minute for me to actually be able to interact or see anything. Oh, yeah. No, it's coming through already. So come back for me. Okay. Yeah, give me a bit. <laughs> I can't interact with the book. Okay, I just heard you show back up. <laughs> you heard that? So... I'm going to go okay. ahead and say that it does not self chunk load. No. So, that's good to know. Doesn't really matter. So, there we go. World Anchor. Hey, when's Chicken Bones going to upload and update and all that good stuff, uh, chunk loaders? Yeah. 
I miss that mod. I miss I miss not having to pay for my chunk loading. <laughs> <laughs> so ooh, first, we have a spider jockey. We had a spider jockey. Mm -hmm. He's dead now. And I have like eight hundred and twelve thousand LP, so I'm feeling pretty good about our soul network here. Alright dude, so we've got a we've got a quarry going, Sorn. Nice. And a mob spawner. That's getting us all kinds of good loots. Uh, you know what? It was getting us good loots. Did you fix the ender chests? I did. You sure? No, we... Yeah. Are you really sure? Of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just wanted to be sure that you were sure. Right, you fixed this one too. Good. All right. So I guess we have six types of items that we're getting. String, gunpowder, arrows, bones, flesh, and creeper seeds. That's good to know. I'll leave that as is because we might wind up with a couple other random items. I just want to make sure that we don't miss out on anything. So I think I saw a witch good. in here at one point, so we'll probably get redstone and glowstone. Triggered. Yeah, I saw a witch. I wouldn't be surprised if we get things like potatoes occasionally and that kind of stuff. And whatever. Yeah. There's. I think there was just a zombie riding a chicken, but I'm not really sure if that's what I just saw. Yep. Okay. I did see that. I wasn't imagining that. <laughs> well, I don't doubt it. That's a vanilla thing. That's a vanilla thing? It's a, yeah. Zombies riding chickens? <laughs> Baby breathe. zombies riding chickens. Baby zombies riding Baby chickens zombies is vanilla. It's a zombie, uh, what was it called? Chicken jockey? Okay. Jockey. Cool. So our quarry is actually like doing really well. And it's going to do even better once he um, increases the speed just a bit. But um, mm -hmm. I, I definitely will come back here and augment this at some point. If we ever decide we want to, I could throw a lever on it too to do a manual on off switch, but I don't know. Uh, maybe. So if I wanted to, I could just real quick grab a little bit of redstone. Same was saying, well, you do have a chunk loader that's kind of free. Quarry. <laughs> it's like, um. Free as in not expensive. As in, it's built to chunk load, and you can actually chunk load a lot of area without too much pain. I don't want to do the quarry. That's just no. Also, turn off. Nope, nope, nope. So there we go. Turn off lever. So we have a lever right by the book sword, and that will turn off this thing if we ever deem necessary. Yeah. And if you ever need to turn um, off, back here. Pulling out extraction. There's a lever underneath the floor. Okay. So I'm liking the fact that we have a Fortune Three quarry. Yeah. Oh, didn't kill it. Not too shabby. All right, guys, we will be back in a minute. Uh, you know what we should do, Soren? What's up? We should get another ME drive. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's get to work on that. Um, I might want to look at a little bit of auto-crafting before we wrap up the episode here. Be right back. All right, guys, we are close to wrapping up here, but I do want to real quick set up an auto-crafter so you guys can see it, and then me and Soren can use it between this episode and next for whatever we might have nefarious purposes and such so um various purposes yeah exactly dolphins what yeah right <laughs> nefarious purposes whoa that was cool Good yeah answer. it's all soren so you need a molecular assembler That is a new block, and it's basically the auto crafting table of dun dun dun, dun applied energistics. Ooh. And you're also going to need an interface and some cables and I want to say that's pretty much all you're going to need. So what you can do, and I need to come over here and check because it's been a few minutes since I've actually played with these cables and I forget where I'm at with... A few minutes. Yeah. It's been a few minutes. It's been a few episodes. I don't entirely remember where I left off. So I think I currently have four channels used on this line. Okay. So what I'm thinking then, Soren, is I will find my way back into that room somehow. All right, so check this out. You ready? Mm -hmm. 
what you need to do is put down an interface and put a molecular assembler on said interface. And look, it's online and glowing and happy. <laughs> um, and the molecular assembler is where you insert the crafting recipes for things, and the molecular assembler itself will be able to auto-craft whatever you want. So, for example, what would we like to auto-craft right now, Soren? Uh... How about pistons? Piston would be good. Later we'll do fried chicken. Okay, so I'm going to encode the <clears throat> pattern for a piston. I heard an explosion or a large ship. It was or your something. fault. Yeah, it's not it's my fault. Seed. It's a creeper seed. And then I'm going to find the interface it. terminal that has the molecular assembler attached to it, which should now have placed it over here. Ta da! So if you look in the uh, interface here, the piston's in there. Uh, no, it's not. In the interface behind the molecular assembler? Yes, it is. Cool. <laughs> and I'm going to request 10 pistons. Oh, I'm missing wood planks. So maybe I'll do also... Oh, here. No, that's all right. I have wood in the system. I want to teach it how to make oak wood. Okay. Why? Don't take my wood planks. <laughs> I'll just shoot XCOM instead. So I'm now going to tell it to make 10. So you can see here, six oak wood available, which will wind up getting me the oak wood planks that I need in addition to what I need. So available eight to craft 24. You checking this out, Sword? It's pretty cool. Do you see what I see on this? Probably not. Do you, Do you see, see what, what I see? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, to, oh, the people I hang out with. So <laughs> I'm going to tell it to start. Default. And it should start oh. crafting for me and get pistons. How Ooh. how easy was that? Huh? Nice. Pretty cool, right? Nice. Yeah. And even animated down here. Did it animate? Yeah, it put what you're yeah. crafting, like the end result into the center. Go ahead and request like 10 more pistons for me. <laughs> just so you can watch? Iron? We yeah. Mean, like, we we just set up a quarry. Stop whining about iron. I'm whining. Oh, that is cool. That is neat. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. That is, oh look, and if you look at the interface, it also shows what it's crafting. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, some people complain that they think AE2 is like harder, Ow. but in some respects, it's absolutely not. Like, the, the auto crafting, I think, is very cool. Now, you might think to yourself, does that mean you can only have nine in patterns per molecular assembler? No. No. Because you can have six sides six to a block. Faces. Yeah. So you can have six interfaces all around the molecular assembler, and eventually you can wind up with 36, or no, right? 54 patterns. And you can't quite have six because you want a pipe somewhere, right? No, you don't need a pipe. You mean a cable? Yeah, I mean a like uh, a way to connect it back to the system. No, it doesn't need it. It'll go back into the interface. And power will transmit through the interface? Yep. Power right. transmits so through an six. interface. If it's not in arrow mode. Chase, yeah. So yeah, you can six. have 54 six. patterns per molecular six. assembly. Six. Not too shabby, right? Yeah. All fine. right. So past the wrapping up point now, but wanted to get that in place and to show you guys what that's all about. So for now, Direwolf20 wrapping up with the withering effect. Thank you, Soren. I am <laughs> going to kill him really hard. Pretty soon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I'll find a way. I will find uh -huh. a way. I will find a way to kill Soren. <laughs> that is my new goal in life. For now, Dial20 nice signing off. Hope Mario. you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to go hide somewhere that he can't find me. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye-bye. I don't know if he's going to try to get away. <laughs>